Morning guys. Morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we've come to a bit of an interesting place here in the Peak District. We've come to a place called Chatsworth House. Yeah, it's very, very famous. You probably have seen it on TV. It's been in things like Peaky Blinders. Um, what was the other one? Uh, it's been in films like The Duchess and it's very well known for being in Pride and Prejudice as well. Yeah. So today we've got full access. We've got uh, tickets to the house and the gardens. So let's go check it out. So we've just walked through the private bit of Chatsworth House. It was just recently opened up, I think she says about June, July time. So we've just had like new access to that part of the house. Um, and it's actually, the house itself is owned by the Duke of Devonshire. Um, it's been owned by the Cavendish family since the 1500s. It's very, very nice. <laughs> Every year they actually decorate the house for Christmas and apparently it's absolutely amazing time to come and visit Chatsworth House and they've also got a Christmas market that they run every year and apparently that is absolutely amazing and we should definitely go to that. Tell me one thing, is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you really quiet in here and that's because they actually have a set amount of tickets per tour so we've chosen the half one tour and I think we've seen like maybe one or two people along the way. It's really good uh, the control in the numbers of people coming in here due to the pandemic um, but the bonus is that you don't feel rushed around and you can mm. really take in each room. Right, so we've come back out of uh, Chatsworth House now and we're going to move into exploring the gardens. Uh, I will say, based purely on what we've seen inside the house, it's already worth the money. Oh yeah, it was only £23 per person um, and it includes a tour of the house and uh, access to the gardens. So. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, the interior was absolutely stunning. Uh, admittedly, I think at first glance on the ticket price, you think that it's quite pricey, but um, we've had a good time already. Uh, it's, it's really worth the money. So if you're looking to come multiple times, you can actually get a Friends of Chatsworth pass, which gets you uh, multiple access uh, whenever you like into the grounds. As far as we know, that's what we've been told. So there's always that option for you. So if you guys are looking to come to Chatsworth, you can actually buy it as two separate tickets. Uh, you can just get the house ticket or you can get the garden ticket. And to be honest, the garden ticket alone is probably going to be more than enough for lots of hours uh, because the garden is, I think it was 105 acres in size. Uh, there's a lot to see and do. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few areas that are currently closed off due to COVID. Um, I think there's a maze somewhere and there's some of the tropical houses as well. I think they're closed but just for the size of the place I think there's even like a tractor ride that's like a shuttle bus to get you around yeah. um, so there's more than enough to keep you occupied for an afternoon oh also there is a animal farm park here somewhere yeah um, and it includes like kids playgrounds so that's a completely separate ticket that you can also buy as well Well, we were going to try and show you the gardens. Um, the classic British weather has come in. So we're, it's like an hour later, we've found some coffees and we're still under a tree. We are stuck under a tree right now. Um, the plan is to potentially go back to the gift shop, buy an overly priced umbrella <laughs> and then continue the garden tour. So uh, this, video, this video might be shorter than uh, we'd like. Guys, the rain has stopped. I think Yay. we've got, got a very small amount of time. So uh, the tour continues and we've come to a Victorian rock garden, which was created by one of the Dukes after it was inspired by one of his trips to the Alps. So the rock garden is pretty cool. I feel like we're in the Grand Canyon, but like a smaller version of it. <laughs> So if you guys head up to the top end of Chatsworth House Gardens, uh, you'll find what is now the maze, but it used to be a giant conservatory. Yeah, and they um, actually used coal to heat it up, and uh, when the war came, the coal was then used for the war. So basically all of the plants had died in the conservatory, so they 
had no choice and had to blow it up. Yeah, they blew up the conservatory and apparently it was so well built it took over 200 pounds of explosives. <laughs> Right, now we're really up at the top and this place just keeps going. It's definitely 105 acres, I can tell. Uh, but I think we're heading up to like a grotto area now and there's like a nice big pond up here. Got it to ourselves. It's really cool. But there's a weird demon. There's a weird demon thing, statue. I don't know, it's got it's like weird, legs. Weird rabbit or something. This is Barry, everyone. Barry. That's the end of the video guys, we're gonna wrap it up here for today. Um, we've had a really good time here at Chatsworth House and Gardens. Uh, I think, I'd say I've probably enjoyed both the indoor house and the outdoor gardens as much as each other. Yeah, but if you are just wanting to do, you know, a slightly budget version of it, you can uh, buy the ticket for the garden, which is a bit cheaper, so there is that. Yeah, they're both separate. You can buy a separate ticket for the house, for the garden, and there's also a farm here as well, that's also a separate cost. Yeah. Um, but we would highly recommend it. If you're ever in the Peak District area, uh, definitely check it out. Uh, it should be a stop on your trip. Um, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Uh, smash the subscribe button if you want to see more videos just like this. Um, and otherwise, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace! <laughs> People staring at me while I'm trying to vlog. Oh. <laughs> so guys, we're hiding under a tree because it's raining. Ah, my face is massive! So if you guys come here and it's uh, chucking it down I wouldn't recommend getting a brolly because I went in the shop and the cheapest one they do is 30 quid which is more than a single ticket to get into the place so if it's a bit rainy bring your own brolly uh, Top tip if you are trying to film ducks and you want them to get a bit closer throw invisible food <laughs> That Merlin's brother is hiding down the end of the field. Yeah. Um, but we would highly recommend it if you're ever in the Peak District. Uh, the, the Peak District. Uh, the Peak District. <laughs> if you're ever in the Peak District area. Still recording? No, I turned it off, I think. Oh, the whole camera's off. Oh, no. What?